Hey there team, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Craftimation 101. We're having a look at a demo build, it's part of an upcoming Steam Festival. I'm not sure when this video will roll out, but uh, essentially you'll be able to get a hold of this yourself. So this is a game we've had a look at previously in an alpha build as well, so it's all very pre-release. Um, but again, you'll be able to try it out for yourself. I'm just going to do a really quick video going over this, put on your radar. Um, we'll see how this sort of format goes, a little bit tighter. Um, I've already been playing a bit, we'll just jump on into a new game. Yep, sure, delete everything, go for it. Bloody fill your boots. Um, so, it's got a rudimentary uh, sort of for loop scenario. So it is, it is coding, it is programming for automation, but it's actually really accessible. It's, and it's, I, I love it. It's got a great energy sort of to it. Um, so you can click on this sort of crap. So it's got this manual idle component, which is great because allowing me, the, the overlord of the game, to, to touch and interact, it helps when you brick something, maybe your dudes run out of fuel or something like that. So you have an input component as well, right? So it's just teaching you some of the basic recipes. You can see up here, combine spark with coal and what, what are we gonna get there? We're gonna get fire, every caveman's favorite. So you put it on the rocket, thaw it out. You can see that we've got a sort of frozen wasteland and, and we're gonna go exploring that in a minute. Anyway, so it's given us this, this package with a campfire, we go ahead and we've, uh, we've learnt how to make fire, so you just put these two together to make a spark, and then you spark the coal, and chuck that in, and then that's gonna thaw out a little bit of this area. Very cool, right? Now it's gonna give me some bits of dudes. There we go, we've got a head. We've got a body, you know, the important food groups. Put them together, we've got a crafter mate, ma named Bzz the Good. Very cool. So we're gonna mine this. Let's just follow the bouncing ball really quickly. Put this together. And then you've got a coal brick, which is an efficient sort of bit of fuel, bit of food. You can see his little energy on his head. You jam that in his bloody food hole, in his mouth hole, and he's happy as Larry, right? Now, this is where the, the core of the game is, is writing a script. The game actually holds your hand, and you can find your first script. And it is, it's, it's middle code, it's low code. There's actually a type of, type of code like that I've actually worked in. Sort of like this, so we're not going to use baseline entry prompts or anything like that, but we've got this sort of GUI interface in between. It makes it a lot more accessible, and uh, yeah, you'd be surprised. This is actually becoming something in current industry, having, because because we're getting such robust suites that need to be customized for fa uh, for companies and all that as well, um, as opposed to a sort of one-size-fits-all uh, solution. Anyway, I worked on a contract on that actually previously, so it's interesting. A little bit sort of closer to home. Anyway, so you have your idle, stick here and you can put back two idle as well it's sort of how you close the loop but we'll get rid of that but the game has told us to take find and pick this and he will do that exactly then you can chain find and pick to the back of that and we're going to put another stone it seems this wants us to combine it funnily enough we know that that's going to create a spark right so this is re this is probably get your kids on it or if you know nothing about any form of coding or programming or any of that sort of stuff this is a great sort of, dare I say, educational game. Um, so you slap these together, we're going to get a spark, all right? Now we're going to go and find and pick. You could probably figure out, it's probably going to be coal, right? Bang. We're going to combine them together, and we know that we're going to have that sort of briquette. Now it's telling us to drop two, and you designate a specific place. Oh, it's not the briquette, sorry, I'm an idiot. It's fire. And we're going to put the fire in the campfire, because the campfire, over time, depletes that fire which is great because it's an impetus for us to uh, engage with it in a, in a set sort of loop, all right? So then we're gonna f send it out to idle. And then you can see here that we can copy the program, we can scrap the program whole cloth, we can reset it. So he might, he might have a logic break somewhere and have something stuck in his hand and he can't figure it out. You can reset it and you can press go. And you can also, you can minimize the thing, but it, it has a little flow chart. It has a little visual interaction. You can see him in the background. There he goes. He's doing it. But you can also track where he is in the line of the code. So as far as a visualization of um, low coding, this is actually fantastic. So this bloke's now on this infinite loop and it seems like it's going to work. Now, it will run out of, he'll run out of steam. He'll run out of fuel eventually. But for now, that's fine. He wants us to create a clay brick and that's going to be dirt and that's going to be stone. We're going to put them together. Bangers. We've got a brick and we can make a, a, a a campfire by combining a brick with a bit of clay. Cool. It wants us to put us here. So it's all very much follow the bouncing ball. It gets obviously a lot more robust, but I find getting you, you know, up to speed, showing you this is probably the best way to go about it, right? Um, 
light it with fire. Well, we figured out how to make fire. We're going to put two of them together into a spark. We're going to make that into a coal. Slap that, slap that. Here we go. And it's going to reward us with Zox the Big. We've heard big things about old Zoxy boy. Light and unfreeze the rocket. Um, okay. Oh, it got unfrozen from that. So now the rocket turns into sort of our home base, which is a mission giver -er, right? You're going to drop off its request items. And in this case, it wants you to put stone there. Now we could just be a cop out and uh, drag the stone ourselves and it will uh, consume them, all right? Uh, execute a command center goal. Now that this is, I don't believe this was in the last build, right? Um, so essentially when we do fill it up with the 15 stone and click on it, we're gonna get a point and then we can buy certain, uh, well I don't wanna say functions because we have the ability to make a canned function, which is essentially a siloed off side change program that you can easily implement uh, for example, the first one you probably will make is an eat loop, right? And you can see here, eat, and it will inform the dude to take whatever's in his hand and stick it in his mouth, right? So it's my, that's my favorite order of the day. I use that very often, at least once a day um, in my own personal life. So you can do that and then you could unlock a function and you could create that sort of feedback loop. Um, but we can't do that yet because we don't have the stone gathered up. So what we might do is we'll take our learnings here. We'll go to Zox the Big. We're gonna go uh, find and pick. Stone, and then we're gonna go drop two, and we're gonna set the destination as this. 19.5, I'm not quite sure how they work out their origin system, but that's fine. That's it, that's all it needs to be. To idle, to idle, to idle indeed. And then, execute. If we watch old Zoxy Bonds, he's just gonna go pick up stones, and he's gonna stick them in the hole, and that's good. We're gonna pat him on the head. Now, this is closer, he's just gonna harvest it, and then these things, well, I was gonna say they generate infinite stone, but next to infinite, 1500? We're not gonna run out of that anytime soon. All right, maybe we help him out. Let's help him out. You're doing well, big fella. Oh, look, he's uh, he was getting a bit enthusiastic trying to pinch me stone. I might cut the queue there. So, oh, sorry, mate, sorry, mate. And then this bloke's upset too. And now what's going on here? He's run out of fuel. But uh, that's a problem for another day. Don't worry about that. Oh, actually, you know what? We can just jam a brickhead in his mouth and you can just, it's probably worth saying, you can just fuel him straight away. Now, if he had his own feed loop, then uh, he, you, could, you can set it up so it goes back to that as a sort of test condition. Um, cool. So let's just buy, eat, and un unlock. I think people are probably gonna get the idea of how this works. Cool. And then you can just sort of follow the bouncing ball. Execute a command goal. Uh, now you can see here, I mean, what, what are we gonna do about this dude? What we could probably do is we could just trash his loop and move this brick out of the way. But now it wants us to, what is going on here? Why can't I pick up that rock? Fuck it. Oh, is it because I'm paused or something? I can't remember. I had this happen earlier. It, it could be a bug in the game. I don't know what's going on there. Hmm. Anyway, that's not a good sign. It could be something simple. But anyway, now we, now we want to put sparks there. And because, what I'll do before I wrap this up, because I just want to do a, a quick sort of little video, I'll give you an overview and you can figure it out for yourself, right? Um, but you could take the eat command, right? To, tell them to eat uh, an object for recharging. So what, how would we do that, right? We would probably go find and pick, and we'll go, oh, how do we how do we make the briquette? I need to, uh, you can actually go up to here, and it can tell you here. It's just coal plus stone, right? So let's say we go to this bloke, we go there, we go find and pick stone, and then we go find and pick coal, and that puts one in each hand, combine, we've got the briquette, we can go eat, and then go to idle. And this bloke will just presumably infinitely eat these fuel rods. <laughs> Not exactly the best thing just yet, but I mean, he's gonna be happy as Larry, right? You can see here we've got uh, functions and that that we can unlock through there. You can use this as a little sort of, like, uh, help for pathing and this sort of stuff to clean up your circuit if you like. Um, and it was probably just worth pointing out on this tree, there's a whole bunch of stuff, but things like um, energy, right? We won't be able to unlock this just yet, but it's actually more complex than what it says. Like it's it's um it is more handholdy, which is more accessible, right? Um, but ultimately, to give you an idea, energy is to say uh, it has a check condition. It has a, two, a one input, two outputs. One is 
if uh, if battery of the dude is below 10%, this path, else that path, right? So this you would combine with your feed loop, and then you would probably stick it inside this function for a self-contained check at the beginning of the uh, of the dude's program, saying, are you above 10% fuel? Um, and, and if not, you would tell him to execute that little briquette uh, eating command that we did with old wherever wherever the bloody hell he ended up. This bloke, this this dude is full of beans, right? You just have it have a check condition. Now you can't tweak the condition or anything like that. It's set at ten percent. So I mean, hypothetically, I don't know. Maybe you made a loop so complex and long that he will go through more than ten percent of his battery power. That could be a problem then. But that's that's not really the point. This isn't supposed to be a robust programming suite. It's supposed to be something much more gamey, much more accessible and fun, and it's great at doing that. Anyway, the demo is going to be up soon, if it's not already, by the time I put this video out. So check it out yourself, um, put it on your wish list. Oh, I have a real soft spot for these games. Um, yeah, let me know if you like this, this sort of punchier, to the point uh, format. I thought I'd just give it a quick go, go, make a shorter video. Anyway, let me know. Team, might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.